Hello Libra, welcome to a bonus love reading for March 2021. We're going to be looking at your person, what we need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about you, um, either the person that you're currently dealing with or the person coming towards you. So let's jump right in for Libra spirit. What can you tell us about Libra's person at this time? Messages for Libra Spirit. I'm using the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra when it comes to the person that they're dealing with or the person coming towards them? What can you tell us, Spirit, for Libra, March 2021? Well, we have the Five of Swords reverse. What else? Can you tell us for Libra? King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Can you tell us for Libra? Four of Cups, reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is... um. Someone's had a change of heart or has changed their mind about a past conflict, past situation here with the Five of Swords reversed. And I have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel this was a very painful situation. Maybe it was a tough conversation. Um, heartbreak here. So let's break this down. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Can you tell me about the Five of Swords reverse? Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Interesting. It's like someone doesn't want things to change or end here. Five of Pentacles reverse. Yes, this is about a recovery. Um, reconciliation possibly. Why is the Five of Swords reverse? Ace of Swords reverse. Okay. So there could have been um, deception here for sure. Or maybe just a bad fight. This could be your energy, Libra, that I'm picking up off, up on here, <laughs> if I could speak English. Um, so take it as it resonates, because sometimes I can pick up your energy when I'm looking at your person. Something seriously happened here, Ten of Swords reversed, and then I have the Knight of Cups, oops, the Knight of Cups right after that. So I feel like this could be somebody like having regrets or wanting to apologize here for whatever this was. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords, yes. I feel like your person, um, there was some, so some sort of sneakiness here. Shadiness. Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this. King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, interesting. King of Swords. For some of you, there was someone else involved. I don't know if this was a romantic partner or some other romantic um, connection or if it's just someone else on the outside. I feel like this person listened to bad advice or just did not, wasn't thinking about things right because I have the Seven of Swords here. And then the Nine of Pentacles, this is almost like I'm getting a message of this wasn't fair to you or perhaps they did this because of what you were bringing to the table. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? This could have been somebody also pretending to be single for some of you when they were really in a connection already. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Fool reverse. Three of Pentacles. Yes, I feel there's some something else here. There could have been something related to work. But I feel like there's someone else involved. Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some sort of departure here. Maybe this was long distance for some of you. Maybe someone just was ready to leave this connection. Because I do feel there was some sort of ending here. Now why is the King of Swords... Two of Swords Rivers. Why is the King of Swords here? Let me move these up. 
Tell me about this King of Swords. This is someone very direct. Queen of Swords, yes. I feel like there's um very direct communication that's going to happen. Yeah, about yep. Yep. I have the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Pentacles reverse with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. So it's like someone's going to be open or direct about what wasn't working, about an offer that never arrived or a commitment that was never like someone wasn't able to follow through on. Very interesting because I have the King of Pentacles upright. They are not this energy. Um, the King of Pentacles, um, they do things right the first time. King of Pentacles for me as well is a card about someone who's already in a long-term commitment a lot of the time or is very stable in whatever situation they're in. Um, they're not this full reverse. So either this is someone that presented themselves to you in a way that wasn't correct or you are a King of Pentacles energy and you're too good for this. And so they tried to pass, you know, something by you or sneak something by you and it didn't work. They could be wanting to be, you know, up front now with you with King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Almost like I know that you know. <laughs> because there was deception here in the past or some sort of communication that didn't go down very well. Tell me about the Four of Cups reverse. This is about like someone that's had a change of heart, has changed their mind about something. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the moon reverse, Pisces energy, and the magician reverse. Yikes, terrible. <laughs> In the sense of like not, I don't think this person is terrible. Don't get me wrong. Um, I just feel like this is someone who they've had a change of heart because something here was not right or they got caught. There's an imbalance here. More time is needed. More energy is needed. Something's not coming together. The moon reverse is a card about hidden illusions coming to the surface. And the magician reverse could also be some sort of manipulative energy or it could be not being able to manifest. Tell me about the moon reverse. So I feel like whatever came to the surface here, whatever came to light, the devil, Capricorn energy. Look at all this major arcana. Yeah, this was a bad, someone really screwed up. That's really, that's really what I'm getting here. And got caught up in something. Um, yeah, there was a wrong choice. Seven of Cups reverse. They made the wrong choice. And now with the Princess of Cups here at the bottom, it's like they want to say that they're sorry. With the judgment reverse right behind that. Uh, I have bad judgment. I didn't do things right. Let's get some more energies here. Tell me more about this person's spirit. For Libra. Now, Libra, I have a lot of signs here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, an Earth sign, an Air sign. I have Sagittarius, Pisces, and Capricorn as well. But it does not have to be those signs. Those are just the ones that happen to come out today. Give me some insight, Spirit, into this person. What insight can you give me into this person? Married souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. You marry each other in this special connection. Beautiful harvest, growth, abundance, patience. Can I get one more? So what this is telling me is that this was a good thing. This had potential. Yeah, it could have been. You could have even been in a long-term commitment with this person. So what do they want to tell you? This is my stellar energy oracle deck there. Now I'm going to use my secret moon oracle. Spirit, tell me more. What would this person want to tell Libra? What does this person want to tell Libra? Whoa. I'm afraid I want a second chance. Let me get one more. Can I get one more? Yeah, the, this person definitely wants a second chance. Just based off of the energy here, this was something that they really, I was going to say they really screwed up on. And there it is, I screwed up. <laughs> All right, Libra, I'm going to leave it there. I think this was a pretty to the point message here. Uh, let me know down in the comments if this resonated for you. 
Um, if it did, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, please give this a like or a subscribe. I just forgot because I, I, I can't focus on anything because I keep thinking of this I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I wonder why they're afraid. I, it's almost like they're afraid to come to you because you're probably this queen of swords energy. You know, no BS. That That is like over and done with. Okay. All right. Let me continue. Okay. So <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe if you, if you enjoyed this reading or if it resonated for you or if you just want to support the channel for free. Um, I really appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.